using rosin core solder. That's what's normal for electrical connections. There's acid core and rosin core. Acid core is more for structural soldering, like making a funnel or soldering together a birdhouse. The problem with acid core solder is it stays acidic and it tends to corrode all the fittings and pieces of that are around it. You want to have the ability to wash the part after you finish soldering it. Now, washing an electrical circuit is usually not a good idea. So what I'm doing is melting the solder onto the tip of the gun and then using that to heat the joint. This stranded wire doesn't like heating up very well. But if you put a little solder into the joint first, the solder transmits the heat and it causes it to pull and wick right into the wire. a good connection. Still not yanking on them because that wire inside the motor, I hate to break it off down inside, would be a major bad day. Now I'm going to use a soldering gun to heat up this solder joint here so I can pull the wire off. Desoldering now. There we go. Cut off a piece of this heat shrink tubing. It doesn't take much, but it does help to reinforce the wire past the joint. Same with the other wire.
tree. Number four. that tag off connection number eight so that I can put the heat shrink tubing over the top of it and we'll remark it. too long.
come off a piece of this half inch diameter heat shrink tubing long enough to slip over that joint and cover the screw head and nut. seven goes over bolt number seven I'll get the nuts out of the little tray where I put them for safekeeping I want to attach wire number seven to that terminal so that means I just have to do it this way The needle nose as the driver to get it started on there, and come back at it with a socket and the extension. Just snug. Don't want to make it too tight. I don't want to break that terminal. Attach wire number five. After I finish marking this wire, I'm going to slip it over post number six in the bottom right hand corner of the terminal box. Then the next step will be to build the panel box to put the receptacle in. 